Hello, my name is Janae Lonzo, and today I will be doing a presentation on Legina Burns Hope, a woman of great morals and attentive values. Her contribution to the social work profession is greatly appreciated. Legina Burns Hope was born on February 19, 1871 in St. Louis, Missouri to Louisa Fernande Burns. Her father was a carpenter. He supported his wife and seven children. Legina was the youngest of the seven children. After her father passed away, the family moved to Chicago, Illinois. In 1890 and through 1893, she attended the Chicago Arts Institution, the Chicago School of Design, and Chicago Business. She did not obtain a degree because her true inspiration was to serve God's people and to do a justice for her community. In Chicago, Legina Burns Hope became involved in social work. She worked at the Whole House located in Chicago, which was founded by James Adam and Ellen Gates Starr. Working at the Whole House truly inspired Legina's passion for reform. The Whole House addressed issues such as poor working conditions, um, malnutrition. They also offered services such as daycare, libraries, and employment bureaus. In 1893, she met her husband at the time, John, her husband, John Hope. At the time, John Hope um, was a student at Brown University. The couple married December 29, 1897 and moved to Nashville, Tennessee. John and Legina, they had two sons named John and Edward. And in 1898, the family moved to Atlanta. John Hope began teaching at Atlanta Baptist College, later known as Morehouse, and became the president. Just a little background on Legina's husband, who is also a social reformist. He was born in Georgia, um, but he is of European descent, and he could pass as white. He was the first African descent president of both Morehouse College and Atlanta University. Um, a lot of his success made it possible for Legina's help in the community. In June 1908, Hope and other women of the community founded the Neighborhood Union. At the time, Atlanta was the most segregated city in Georgia. The black children did not have a place to play. Um, there was not a single playground for them. And basically what uh, Legina did was, you know, recruited students from Morehouse College to do interviews in the community. Um, one of her proudest moments was when she actually confronted the city, city official about uh, Christmas gifts that whites were receiving but blacks weren't. Um, after going into the office, she was told that the problem is that you people do not contrib contribute to these things. As was she explained that blacks were taxpayer citizens just as well as whites. Okay, during World War I, she um, became a special war work secretary at the YWCA, War Work Council. Um, she organized services for returning black and Jewish soldiers and overseeing training. Um, she enjoyed this job very much, but her activism did not stop there. Um, she worked with the Association of Southern Women for the Prevention of Lynching, and what they did was created national bills to prohibit lynching of blacks and mandated prosecution to um, of local law offices that engaged in it. In 1927, Legina worked with victims of the Great Flood, and she was appointed uh, to the Colored Advisory Commission. Um, which investigated acts of racial discrimination during flood reliefs. In 1932, um, she was vice president of the Atlanta chapter of the NAACP, and she organized citizenship schools that were offered six times a week, and it helped with, you know, voting and democracy. She also enjoyed this job. Um, unfortunately, after her husband passed in 1936, uh, she moved to New York. Um, this could have been because of, you know, the income change. 
1947, Legina Burns Hope passed away. Her ashes were released from a tower in Morehouse College. Um, Legina was inducted into the Georgia Women's of Achievement in 1996. Today, John and Legina Hope's paper are housed at the Robert W. Woodruff Library in Atlanta University Center. Legina Burns Hope Center was actually founded by our very own President Barack Obama. And you know, this just is a center for leadership development and organizing institutions. Legina Burns Hope is clearly an inspiration to the profession of social work. She was a great leader in our community. I can only imagine the strength and courage it took to go against the norm at this time. She fought for justice and is spreading equality throughout the world. This was truly her goal. I would definitely say that Legina Burns Hope is a woman of great morals and intensive values. She is truly an inspiration to social work. Here are references. Thank you.